Ladies and gentlemen, my name is O Tyler, and after a short hiatus from not making any mouse related content, I'm back again with something quite special. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this, the Zowie EC3C. It's a shortened version of the popular EC series of Zowie mice, primarily aimed at FPS gamers. Now, as you can see, I've already taken the liberty of unboxing the mouse itself. The Zowie unboxing experience remains very much the same since our previous video. Uh, namely, you only get the manual, the sticker, uh, you get a pair of replacement feet, and very basic packaging found inside as well as the mouse itself. Moving on to the mouse, let's talk about the shape. The shape itself is a shortened version of the Zowie EC2. Now, when Zowie set out to make this mouse, their key goal was to try and make something which was useful for vertical movements. Now, games like Fortnite and Valorant utilize these movements very often and demand that from their esports competitors. Namely, the EC3 has been made shorter overall, so that whilst you still get really good palm support and you get a good base for clawing the mouse as well, the overall length is shorter, meaning you get a lot more vertical play when trying to move the mouse in between your wrist. And if you wish to do so, so you can use it in a in a claw like fashion. And just try and get the most out of the the length there. One of the other things they've done as well is they've actually tried to think about the button placement in comparison to the EC2. Now, if I put these two mice next to each other, you will notice that the button placement on the EC3 is very similar to that of the EC2. That's no accident. Zowie wanted the EC3 to be as easy to use for people who are looking for a shorter and smaller alternative as the EC2. Now, if you were to simply take the EC2 and shrink all of its dimensions, the button placement would be slightly further towards the bottom of the mouse. And that's why they've raised it up slightly in comparison to the shape. That's not the only difference as well. If I were to try and get my two fingers, my index and my ring fingers on the right side of this mouse, you'll notice that there is still a lot of room here for your fingers, same as you would get on the EC2. Something to try to think about there is the amount of room you get on this right side, because even though the mouse itself feels smaller, there is still a considerable amount of uh, play here and you'll actually notice if I put these side by side the EC3 comes a bit further out towards the buttons there as it would do on the EC2 and that is again to try and give you as much play as possible when trying to grip the mouse from the side and trying to uh, give you as much room there to help you hold on. Something that Zowie has also attempted to uh, fix on this mouse is the scroll wheel. Now on the previous EC2 it was a very loud and very clicky scroll wheel in 16 steps. We can just get a little sound test here. Very, very loud. Move that onto the EC3. Uh, you'll notice this is now a 24 step scroll wheel instead of 16. It's a lot more smooth and the overall sound is a lot less clicky. And the overall feel of the scroll is a lot more it's a lot more smooth it's a lot easier to actually uh, find out where it steps and you're not finding yourself stuck between two separate scrolls which is quite nice as well i believe the coating on these two mice are identical however the ec2 has been used by me for about nearly two years so the coating on this is slightly bit shinier compared to this ec3 which has not been touched next is the underside of the mouse itself no changes here from what i can see however what you'll notice on the ec3 is there is a slight coarse plastic compared to the ec2 which is a bit smoother i did actually speak to zowie's engineering team about this to see was there any particular reasoning behind the change or if it was simply just a uh, a continuation in their manufacturing process and the latter seems to be the case this coarse classic bears no differencing to the weight of the mouse or to the actual build quality it's simply just a continuation of their of the manufacturing process speaking of weight the ec3 comes in at only 70 grams which makes it 
one of the lightest mice that Zowie created. When they first set out to make their mice, the weight has never been a concern of Zowie. They've always believed that a slightly medium tiered weight, around 80 to 90 grams, is better for FPS games. This time around though, Zowie has listened to its criticism and its feedback. The mouse itself only weighs 70 grams, which makes it a lot easier to move around and helps you out with doing flick shots and any other similar movements. Me personally, I do prefer a slightly heavier mouse around 80 to 75 grams, so 70 is a good place for me as well. First impressions when using the mouse. The reality is, it is a smaller mouse, meaning that the grip width overall is a bit shorter and trying to get your entire palm around the mouse is a little bit more difficult. Now, Zawi have tried their best to give you as much palm support as they can with this. However, due to the fact that it's a smaller mouse, it does feel your palm a lot shorter than it would do on the EC2. Let's talk about the ones. These are still the blue Huano switches, which you can find on the EC2. They're very clicky, very tactile. Whilst they may not feel as nice as switches such as Omerons or something that's optical, uh, Zawi have always used the switch because it's very consistent and it's not prone to any double clicking issues. Next up, let's talk about the cable. One of the newest features released on the EC3 series of mice is the fact that this cable is now made using a shoelace material, meaning that it's a lot more flexible compared to its rubber counterpart. Now combine this with the angled uh, cable entry that they've put on the EC3, it makes for a very smooth experience when compared to the rubber cable and the normal entry found on the EC2. Even without a bungee here, it's very, very light and I can feel little to no resistance whatsoever. Build quality on the EC3. Despite being a short shape, I cannot feel any weaknesses or inconsistencies in the plastic itself. It's very solid feeling overall. There's no give in the bottom of the mouse or in the top either. Um, again, with these buttons, Zowie do make it possible for you to click the mouse one and two from very short from down the stem all the way up to the very top. Nice to see that they've kept that in place. Um, scroll wheel again, very clicky, very easy to click in for mouse three. Uh, no signs of issues there. So how does the mouse feel in game? Well, let's get it plugged in and find out, shall we? All right, <clears throat> see how this thing is. Even though it is a smaller mouse, it does seem to feel very good in the hand. It glides very well on this uh, Zowie mouse mount, I must admit. Even though the mouse is a lot lighter in terms of weight, it doesn't affect the build quality or the, or the feel in game. It still feels very solid, very consistent, and uh, sort of puts those criticisms about the additional weight to shame, really, because once you're used to it, this is very capable.
<laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I didn't win the death match, but I'm happy with that. So, overall first impressions compared to the EC2, not too bad considering that's my first time in game. The EC2 being the mouse I've used the longest and uh, didn't seem to affect my play at all. Um, flex are very easy to do, uh, tracking remained consistent and the weight didn't affect my aim too much either, which is also a good factor. What do I like about the mouse specifically? I like the fact that Zowie is still trying to improve their products. I feel like it is time for them to start considering wireless technology. However, I've realized that that is something that is still in development, something that we can look forward to potentially later down the line. Next, in terms of the actual size and the shape itself, I still would prefer to use an EC2, uh, but I don't think the new shape has phased my aim too much, which is a good thing. Uh, things I do like is the fact that they've tried to retain the button placement on the left and right hand side of the mouse uh, Speaking of the tactility on these buttons is quite good as well um, It's a lot shorter compared to the EC2 so it feels very clicky in terms of what I don't like about the mouse I think that drivers on Zowie products are still a matter of personal preference um, Obviously Zowie products are sipped without any drivers so inputs like your dpi your lift off distance and your polling rate need to be controlled on the mouse itself all of the current settings on the mouse can be changed using either the buttons on the side obviously you've got your polling rate button there and your dpi button down there in addition you've also got the lift off distance which can be changed using the button that's pressed in when you plug the mouse into your computer Another snag could potentially be the DPI increments. Obviously at the minute, you've got the standard options of 800, uh, 1600, 3200 and 400. However, if you wanted to uh, have a bit more control over that, then it's currently not possible on the EC range. One improvement that could be made would be to upgrade the sensor to a 3389. Um, it does remain to be the 3360 sensor, which you can see on the previous generation of Zowie mice. Um, who would I recommend this mouse to? Simply put, if you're an EC2 user or you're using something like the Glorious D Minus or the G Wolf Skull, maybe even the Razer Death Adder, and you're looking for something a little bit smaller this could be a good solution for you especially if you're struggling games such as Valorant where you're trying to uh, deal with some of the verticality that can be found in some of those maps the EC3 may be able to help you in that department um, other than that if you're a current EC2 user and you enjoy using the EC2 I personally would stick to that and the reason being if you're familiar with the D- as well, which I covered in a previous video, I noted that the tiniest difference in shape was enough to somewhat throw your aim off compared to what you're used to. So if you're looking to upgrade from the EC2 to the EC3, I'd only do so if you have very small hands, uh, my hands being 18 by nine, and I found this to be no issue at all using the, the EC3. So that is going to be it for today's video. Just want to give a massive thank you to Zowie for sending out these products for review, um, including the Zowie EC3C, the GSRSE in blue, and the Kamei 2. Uh, this video wouldn't be possible without them sending those products out for review. If you do like the content, make sure that you do like and subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any future uploads. I'll leave links to my social media stuff in the description. And if you want to check out more reviews that I've done, I'll leave a YouTube end card thumbnail just up there. Until next time, thank you very much again for watching, see you soon, and farewell.